India has tremendous opportunities for us to grow organic fruits and vegetables to work with the farmer. We also own a brand called Tilda. It's one of the largest basmati rice um, manufacturers and 95% of our products do come from India, our rice that we ship all around the world. So we look forward to growing a lot more in India. We're in the midst of building a new factory to make Terra Chips, one of our brands here. We look to build factories to manufacture infant uh, food and we will, you know, from we have a partnership with the Future Food Group. And between both companies, we plan to make healthy, natural, organic foods. It was a very good meeting, and uh, I uh, felt very strong leadership of Honorable Prime Minister. And uh, we, uh, uh, I feel uh, that the definite success uh, uh, in uh, food processing industry in India in the future. India has 1.3 billion people. And uh, that's huge. That's more than 10 times of Japanese population. So uh, we uh, definitely have good chance to, you know, have our own manufacturing facility here. And uh, from there, maybe uh, we can export the product made in India to uh, some other countries. It was very heartening in the discussion around the potential that exists in India, that exists for all of the manufacturers, retailers, etc., that are here. Uh, and I, I left with a, a good feeling of the future and the potential that's here and uh, the collaboration and cooperation to find new paths for growth. And we have made commitments towards the same going forward. In fact, as we move towards 2018, we're going to expand our direct and indirect uh, labor force by at least 10%, uh, which is part of the growth that we're seeing here. So we're excited about the growth that is happening and about the potential in front of us. The meeting, obviously, the, with the Prime Minister was excellent. He heard all of us. He understood uh, our, the, the points that we made, and he responded to each one of those. So fantastic. See, we are uh, extremely encouraged and enthused by the inspirational leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister and the reforms that he's putting in place that is going to take India to a newer uh, or a higher uh, growth trajectory. And uh, so we are making substantial investment in the food processing sector. Uh, we propose to invest another 10,000 crores to send up multiple food processing facilities across uh, the length and breadth of the country. Uh, this is after uh, the few we have already set up and we will back this investment by investments in agriculture because uh, food processing will only succeed if the farmers uh, succeed. So we had an excellent meeting with the Honorable Prime Minister of India and we were able to talk about our plans for growth in India and how the changes in policy have really inspired us to invest in India versus just importing our products and selling them. We want to uh, invoke the Made in India. Uh, we also, the uh, Mega uh, Food Initiative to have centers of food excellence. We significantly are inspired to participate in those endeavors as well to help to end-to-end -end value chain to uh, deliver high nutritional quality food to uh, the population of India. Well, first of all, the meeting was uh, very positive because it was an open meeting where you uh, could ask questions and he went through all people having their comments. First of all, you, you, you have the land, you have the will to do it, you have the people to do it, uh, so, and you have the people to feed it, so you have a very strong internal market. And, and, and it looks like you, you, you're really understanding uh, the, this involvement of coordination with uh, the private sector, the government, and also other parties of society. These are the conditions, uh, so it's first to make it happen.